Hello students, I hope you have explored the first one about the navigation and simple user interface of it. So now let's talk about more about this interface. Let's understand the Blender interface. As we know the first one, this is for the menu area. We can access the commands from the menu. And after help, this is not the menu. This is for workspace. Okay. So we are seeing the workspace. It's already organized, arranged according to the modeling workspace. Okay. For the starter. Then later on, when you want to edit, we can even change you know, the required one. But here they have given a dedicated workspace for editing mode. So you can see now when I go inside the modeling editing mode. Okay. Then you can see uh, some of the tools are changed uh, in the left side mainly. So in the same way they have created many other road space for sculpting artists. Okay. Those who are very much like to sculpt. They have given sculpting workspace. UV editing for unwrapping the model and uh, to create some textures around it. Texture paint for painting on the model shading workspace this shading workspace is to understand like how look and feel of the model will be when it is interacting with the light and environment and its metal, metal property animation workspace where you know we can see uh, they have given um, this below timeline and we can see like in which frame what changes is happening and what are we are going to do with the animation and you can also see rendering okay it's a separate dedicated tab to render the image and so on there are many workspaces you can see compositing like similar to video compositing you can do with uh, similar to new console where you can you know uh, connect with the node blender is a node based software very powerful uh, you know in doing 3d as well as compositing in the same work area and uh, this is the node area you can play around with the nodes and you can also play around if you are well versed in the you know, scripting area you can also see there is a plus icon and you can also create your own you know layout and create your own workspace even okay so we'll come back to your layout okay and i have seen you know some uh, some of the pc laptop um, because of the desktop resolution you may not see all this you know uh, icons and even the menu on that time just cursor over and uh, you know scroll it for now i am i am seeing everything but if you have that kind of problem then just you want to cursor over and if you scroll you know you can see the menu or change the resolution of your uh, viewport you can go here edit reference okay go to edit preference interface and you can see uh, resolution scale i already changed this okay so if you click and drag see if you click and drag you can change the uh, resolution okay so if some case if it is looking like this okay then you can scroll cursor over and scroll if you want to see everything as a big icon size or go edit preference resolution scale and decrease this scale. so whichever works for you you arrange it okay so for now you just close and uh, you can also see uh, now um, there is another small menu below it's all depend upon which mode you have selected like if i go for edit mode you can see the menu has changed to the edit mode okay so likewise you will get uh, similarly and we can see here uh, some tiny icons this is all related to the snapping and uh, how you are moving the geometry you can see the snap icon here and how you are controlling the pivot of it and this is called proportional editing like handling the modeling surface smoothly okay and in the right side again there are small small tiny icons these are all uh, related to the um, work area like this is the shading mode 
okay this is the metal preview like if you apply any metal if you want to see how it looks you can switch on the metal preview and you can also see your uh, the shade has changed you can also go to the another icon called render so when you move this light okay so you can see how it is interacting with that okay but keep this in solid okay because it consumes more uh, resource so if when you are going to test the metal or the render quality then only click this okay otherwise don't click otherwise it will take more amount of resource right side we already uh, told in very brief this is called outliner the any geometry if you create if you see in the sweep port everything are listed here you can organize everything and above also you can see there is a scene we can create like multiple scenes here and each scene can contain different you know uh, organize of our geometry the same way you can also see the view layer this is related to like what uh, you know layer you need to uh, take for output those are all called view layers this is you know, required sometimes that one we'll talk about uh, when we go to the particular class okay and you can also see this icon right if you know that one if you click it will hide right and this camera icon is related to whether you whether you want to uh, take this output or not okay if you render whether this want to display in the render output or not that is for the camera icon and below you can see these are all properties window okay if you want more property you can just browse this okay for example uh, let's say about the object i want to uh, go more about this object related data properties okay so just select this object and you can see uh, yeah, there are many icons this icon is related to object data properties okay so in the same way if you select light see uh, now we are seeing this light icon and light related property camera camera related property in the same way we have many tools related property and a render related properties printer icon tells about what is the size you want to take output the output size related property and so on there are other icons which we will go through later so but what it is this, this is the properties area okay and the left side as we have already seen one tool move to this is all not related to tool palette you can also click t to hide and unhide this area and when you click t you can see some small tiny arrow is there you can just click on this to bring it back in the same way in the right side if you see there is one more tiny arrow if you click this you'll get some more properties okay this is related to the transform tool property and view related property and later on when we install any add-on we'll get the add-on related property and this shortcut is n you can click n to hide and hide this one and we have talked all about this and the rest thing is the below one this is we have seen here right in animation okay the same thing if you want to work in your layout you can just click and drag you can see the animation related so for now bring it down and below you can see the tooltip area okay so whenever you are working on that you can just observe like what all tooltips it may change and it will just guide you okay and uh, below again down right side you can see the version of the blender which i am using is 3.3.1 it is the latest today's version okay and this is what and if you want to see you know uh, something like uh, maya and uh, mats kind of viewport like four viewports then you can go here view okay and you can also go to this area and you can see your toggle quad view so now i am seeing all four reports at a time okay so it's better to keep it like this so that we can have a big space but whenever you want and in the last video i told like you can click this you can also go for another shortcut key in your numpad like one it will take to front but if i want to go back to the opposite then control and one it will take you to opposite in the same way three three where it went right okay 
control 3 opposite of that. in the same way 7 top control 7 bottom so many many shortcuts are there okay and in the first video i told very you know uh, essential of it i just added you know extra shortcut of the v port we can also use tilde key okay for now my tilde key is responding to my magnifier actually let's let's close this magnifier yes now i will click on the tilde key tilde key is above the tab before the one number in your keyboard keyboard okay above your tab key there is a wave kind of key you know that is called tilde key so when you click this tilde key you will also get this menu okay so where you can select the directly from here tilde key okay like this many many shortcuts are there just play around you know it will make your work faster okay if you want your own you know uh, v port uh, then just see my cursor just go to this corner you will get this double arrow this is useful to you know enlarge this area like this okay you can enlarge this area like this or you can also split the area you can right click and tell i want to split vertically like this so i split it vertically or keep it somewhere here and i want uh, this area again to be splitted horizontally right click tell horizontally split okay now i can tell i want this v port to be top view so i'll click on top view and i don't want to see this icon so i will hide this t t and i want this as a front view so you can click this icon or you can also click the shortcut so control 3 left view something like that anything left to your right so now i got my own arrangement of icon i can see exact top view i can bring some blueprint and place it here and i can you know see whether i am creating exactly as a top view exactly as a left view because it's called orthographic okay and this is the perspective we'll talk much about this in the next coming video so for now how to no, no, go back so right click and tell join areas so you can just join the areas and you're back you can also go to this corner when you go to the corner you can see there is one small you know plus kind of icon you can click and drag and we'll create in the same way and right click and you can join you can also bring other palettes actually other editor so you can see this is the area of this palette right outliner same way you can go here I can bring my UV editor or I can bring anything like I want a top sheet editor. So anything you can even change and you can create your own workspace like last plus we started right about you know seeing all the navigation in the same way here also you can do it. So let's right click and join even this click middle mouse and drag and now you are back so this is about uh, understanding user interface just play around this work with the shortcut so that you will be a little fast ok and we will catch up in the next class video bye bye